Today's video is about how we're going to rethread the centerboard box on a Hawk 20 day boat. So, in the front of the box, um, we have in the back, we have a pulley that's mounted on the starboard side of the box over here. We have a pulley that's mounted in the middle which if we hold that up that's mounted horizontally and down in the bottom left down here we can see there's a smaller pulley which is uh, mounted vertically now at the top there is a deck fitting for the end of the rope so to help things along we're going to call this pulley number one this pulley number two and this pulley number three so let's get started so on the centerboard end we have three small pulleys which are mounted through the centerboard via this bolt here and we're just going to call these pulleys four five and six now to begin uh, we take the end of our rope and we put it through the deck fitting and then tie a knot in the end of it so once we've got the the rope fed through the deck fitting uh, from below to the top we pull it back out put a stopper knot in it and then pull it back tight and there we have a stopper knot stopping one end of the rope so once we've got the the other free end we come to the pulleys that are on the, that are going to be mounted to the center board and we go down through the middle pulley the free end of the rope comes back into the box and then goes into the lower left pulley number three and it needs to come from the bottom towards the top so we can see we've now come uh, from pulley number five on the center board and we've come forward to pulley number three which is the lower left and we've come from the bottom towards the top we're now back to the pulleys that are mounted to the center board and we're going to come up through pulley number six so you need to make sure that this is done the right way around not very easy one-handed so then we come up through pulley number six and then we'll go forward into the box and we will feed this through pulley number two which is the one in the middle mounted horizontally and we will go from port to starboard so we will go through the pulley that way in a clockwise direction so we've now fed this rope here through pulley number two from the port side to the starboard side and you need to make sure that it goes underneath this particular rope here so we've got the free end and that now goes down pulley number four and you pull all the slack out so once we've pulled all the slack out of uh, pulley number four you get the free end and we need to pass it around pulley number one and it needs to come from the bottom to the top this is going to get a bit fiddly so i'm going to, have to drop the camera again so the free end is has now been fed over the last pulley from the bottom to the top and then if we pull all that slack out now from here we can see that the the pulleys are fully threaded and there's no um, twisting or binding and we can pull this out quite easily so that's it fairly easy once you know how of course Now it's possible to get the, the three-way block off the top of the centre board because if you look in this box here on the starboard side there is actually a small hatch. 
So that allows access from the foredeck um, in front of the bulkhead. Now you've got to make sure that the bolt that's used is actually the right way around because on the port side there is no such hatch and there is not enough room to get that bolt out of the center board if the head was on the port side. So if it's on the starboard side, I would say you're probably good to go. But looking in the back there, there is not a lot of space. So as regards re-threading, I'm not convinced that it would be possible. I, I mean, I had enough trouble with the center, without the centre board being there at all. So I think the sensible way is somehow get on the water, drop the centre board, and then that gives you clear access inside the box.